guys, it's Dorian Nicole back with another video. And I'm actually really excited about today's video because today we are going plant shopping. I'm so excited. So if this is not your first time here, then you know that I have been on this little plant mom kick. Um, I've been working in my garden. I've been getting familiar with plants. Since I moved into my house a couple of years ago, um, I started with the whole plant thing and it's been a thing, it's been a vibe. I'm not, not gonna say I'm the best plant mom. I'm actually not a very good plant mom yet. Uh, <laughs> for those of you who have been watching my gardening videos, you know that I'm still trying to figure it out, still trying to get a feel for the plants. But for the most part, I've been doing all of my planting outside. I've been working with my outdoor plants and in my garden and all of that. But today we are shopping for indoor plants. We are transitioning to indoor plants just because um, we're coming towards the end of the summer and for fall and winter, that's like when things start to die down and you know, plants do their thing and I'm not really gonna be doing too much gardening outside and messing with my plants outside. So I figured since I actually like this plant thing very much, we're gonna move inside. So now I'm gonna be learning about indoor plants. So today I'm gonna to be going plant shopping for indoor plants, only indoor plants. Um, I've given myself a budget of $50 because I, can go overboard <laughs> when it comes to shopping i can go overboard if i don't give myself a budget if i don't give myself a max so our max today is going to be 50 dollars, and that is it i found a local garden shop they have indoor plants and outdoor plants but like i said i'm not looking for outdoor plants so I've never been there before. It's actually in the area. I think it's about 10 minutes away from me. I just went on Google and looked up garden centers in my area that are close to me and a couple of them came up, but this one seemed to be really good. They had really good reviews from what I could see. The people said they have really good plants. So we're going to go there. We're going to see what's happening and I am so excited. Okay, so before we get into the fun stuff, before I hit the streets and we go see what we can find, um, if this is your first time here, then thank you so much for tuning into my video. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Make sure that you like the video and you subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed to the channel to help your girl out, okay? Hopefully you love it here. This channel is not all about plants, but that is what I've been doing lately. So a lot of my videos are like gardening videos, plant videos, and things of that nature. But I also do home decor, um, DIY, and every now and then I'll throw in like some lifestyle things here and there. So yeah, you never know what you find over here, but I think I'm a fun girl. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stay in the know with what I have going on, okay? And if this is not your first time here and you've been here before, then thank you so much for tuning in again. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I thoroughly and truly appreciate all of you that are subscribed to my channel, all of you that like my videos, all of you that leave me comments that have been helping me on my plant journey and giving me all types of tips and tricks and everything. I really do appreciate it. So thank you so, 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 so much. So I've been trying to do my research to see what kind of plants are out there, what kind of plants are good house plants, what kind of plants are low maintenance house plants, because like I said, I am new to this. So I don't want to get plants that are like really high maintenance that I had to like water and fertilize all the time and all the things because that doesn't work for me yet. I, I I plan on getting there. The hope is that I become like the most amazing plant mom ever. But for right now, I'm not there. So I don't want to go overboard and get like a whole bunch of plants that I won't be able to care for and that are going to end up dying because then that's going to make me sad. So <laughs> I'm looking for low maintenance plants. I'm looking for cheap plants, of course, because I told you all my budget is $50 and um plants that are not toxic because of course we can't have mr bentley getting sick over here okay and also just for reference if you are looking for i would call her an influencer i don't really know if she would consider herself an influencer but if you're looking for somebody who is really into plants and really has knowledge about plants and can kind of give you tips and let you know how to care for the plants how to clean the plants how to maintain your plants 
one of the people that I follow on Instagram, her name is Paige, her real name is Paige, but her Instagram tag is at blossom effect underscore. I'm going to put it somewhere so you guys can see her page, but all things plants, uh, your go-to, she's your girl for all things plants, all things maintaining, all things caring for plants. If you don't follow her and you are a plant lover, or if you're like trying to get into plants and trying to figure out the plant world, then I think you should definitely follow her page. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to find her page and put it here for you all to see, or, or here for you all to see wherever it makes sense. And I'm also going to um, tag her in the description or put her at in the description. So you can go and follow her if you are looking for somebody to help you on your plant journey, because she has certainly been helping me on my plant journey so I just wanted to shout her out because she is a lot of the reason why I am becoming more confident in <laughs> my plant journey and becoming a plant mom and all all things plants okay so <laughs> that's just my little shout out that I wanted to do before we get into the good stuff okay so with all of that being said let's go plant shopping okay so before we get started on our new plant journey I do want to show you guys or give you guys an update of my plant that i already have if this is not your first time here and you remember i had two plants i bought two house plants i bought this one and i bought an aloe plant some time ago and my aloe plant unfortunately died because i think i repotted it too soon and the pot was too big and yeah it just wasn't working so my aloe plant died but this plant here is still alive it's still kicking um, I'm not going to lie, I haven't been caring for it very well. If you can see, some of the leaves are a little funky, but it has been growing. There were not this many leaves when I bought it. I'm going to try to find a picture or a video of the plant from when I first bought it up till now so you can see that it has been growing. So I'm definitely going to try to take better care of this plant along with my new plants that I find. But... I did want to show y'all this little plant here because this is my my OG house plant. This is my very first house plant that's still alive and kicking. So hopefully we can find some good plants to add to the family and you know get this little house plant thing started.
some plants. Okay, let me uh, let me show you guys what we found. Okay, so I the place, the place, the place. Okay, I showed y'all the place. I can't believe I've never heard of it or I've never been there because it's amazing. Okay, Ama anything you're looking for, anything you could possibly want to find is there. I actually can't wait until next spring or before next spring so I can go there to get my outdoor plants because they literally have everything okay so <laughs> come next season or come next year when it's time to be planting outside I'm definitely going back there to plant outside I'll definitely be back there to get more indoor plants when I get my little funds together because that place has everything okay so let's get into it so I'm gonna start with our little tiny plants this is so i'm not gonna lie to y'all a lot of these plants i wasn't going there for but they were small and they were cheap and they were cute so we got them because why not okay so this is called a polka dot pink plant and for those of you that know me y'all know i got this because she's pink <laughs> she's pink okay so yes this i think this was the first no this was the second one i picked up um but i had to get this one because it's a pink plant and why wouldn't i get a pink plant right okay so a polka dot pink plant um i i, I haven't done any research on it <laughs> so i'm gonna have to do some research on it to figure out like how to care for it and the benefits and all of these things but isn't it so cute it's so cute and tiny um and i also didn't get like any new planters i'm gonna keep keep this here i'm not gonna i'm not gonna mess with it for now i'm gonna do my research first before i do anything else before i do any repotting or like try to do anything fancy with it i'm just gonna look up what i should be doing with it how to care for it and all of the things before i do anything here's our first plant this is our polka dot pink plant and this one was i believe this plant was 5.99 so 5.99 for our first plant this is our other little tiny plant. This is a spiderless, a spiderless plant. <laughs> I don't really know what that means. I, I just like the way that it looked, which is why I got it. And it was cheap. This was also $5.99. And it is a house plant or a hanging basket plant. I like that it can be a hanging basket plant because I actually like the look of hanging plants and I want to do like a hanging plant thing eventually so yeah once this starts to grow we'll probably turn her into a hanging a hanging plant it says that it is a bright light to shade plant it can be moderately dry so to me that sounds like i don't have to water it much which is probably good i'm hoping that it is a low maintenance plant but yeah this is our second plant 5.99 and then we have another little pink plant of course this is called a fitonia it's called a fitonia plant hopefully y'all can see that it's called a fitonia plant i actually have never heard of these plants i don't know anything about them i literally just got it because it's pink again um this plant was $9.99 so $10 it's really pretty but I don't know anything about it so of course we're gonna look it up before we do anything we're gonna look it up and see how you care for it um it says place in filter moderate light not direct light water lightly keeping soil moist mist leaves for extra humidity fertilize every two weeks spring to summer okay every two weeks is not bad i guess but yeah this is our third plant cute right cute okay this is plant number four this is our peace lily she's cute she's very cute it says peace lily platinum mist i don't really know what that means but we're gonna look it up and we're gonna find out and yeah we're gonna see how you care for this bad boy here it's really pretty i like how they the the leaves are growing i don't know how big any of these plants are going to get let's just start there so hopefully they won't like outgrow everything but if so it'll be okay um so yeah this plant was 12.99 so still not not too bad this is a really pretty plant i really like this plant a lot i have to look up the care for this plant because there's nothing on the little tag so i don't know how i would care for this plant but we'll find out no worries and our final plant, this plant actually put me over budget, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like it was worth it. So here we are. <laughs> 
this is our Calathea. She is also very pretty. I don't, now that I'm looking at it, I didn't really pay it much mind in the store, but now that I'm looking at it, I, I don't really know if it's the healthiest plant, but we'll work with it. We'll get it there. This plant was $16.99. So this was the most expensive plant. And I was gonna gonna put it back and wait because it actually put me over by I think like five or six dollars. But yeah, I like it. It's cute. So I kept it. Um oh yeah, I don't know about this. Look. Okay, so I don't know. Hopefully y'all can see that. But if you look in there, there's like stuff happening. And I don't know if it's good stuff happening or if it's bad stuff happening. So I have to look up this one and see what's going on because I'm not 100% sure about this one. But this is what we have. These are our lovely plants. So I'm very excited. I think our indoor plant shopping went very well today. I'm very, 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 very excited. So now I have to go do some research and figure out how to keep these babies alive because I'm going to do an update eventually to let y'all know how they're going, okay? So I would say that today was very successful. I didn't know what I was going to find because like I said, I've never been to this garden center before. But like I also said, I am going to go back to this garden center because they had everything. Everything. There were so many good plants there. There was so much nice stuff there that I've never seen that I'm very interested in. So I will be back to the Primex Garden Center. If you've never been and you're a plant person and you're looking for a good time, you should go there. You should try them because... It's a good time, okay? So, I'm so excited about my plans. I'm gonna go do some research and figure out how I care for these little babies. I'm gonna figure out where to put them. Eventually, I do want to like figure out how to repot them and like put them in nicer pots. But my girl Paige told me that I should not rush to put my plants in decorative pots, okay? Because that's how you kill them by repotting them too soon and putting them in pots where they can't breathe so like i said i have a lot of research to do i'm gonna go do some research i'm gonna go on her page because she always has so much knowledge and so much stuff to give me so i'm gonna go on her page and see what she's talking about see how i care for these plants i'm gonna look up some stuff and yeah the next time i come back to do a little plant update hopefully my plants are doing well <laughs> But yeah, this is what we have. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage from the garden center because it was such a good time. It was such a nice little place. And the fact that it's so close to me and I've never been there is insane. So I will definitely be back there. Hopefully soon. I want to go back there tomorrow, but I'm not going to do that. But eventually I'll be back there to see what else they have and to get some new stuff. But for now. We are going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like the video. If you know of any other house plants that are really, really good and really easy to care for, low maintenance plants, let me know so I can add to my collection. Now that I've started a collection, I'm so excited about this. But yeah, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I will see you all in the next video.